So it's a nice warm humid day. Uh, the entire week is going to be really hot and humid. Just wanted to get a little video of the Samsung air conditioner and the higher air conditioner running. Uh, this has been running for pretty much most of the afternoon. Um, it's working extremely well, blowing ice cold air. Uh, I think the fan is on high right now. It's always been a nice quiet air conditioner, but yeah, it's a 10,200 BTU air conditioner from 2007. Still working great. Just keeping the house nice and cool. It's uh, at 72 degrees down here. Um, that change filter thing doesn't mean anything because we don't have a forced air furnace. We have a boiler. Um, but yeah, it's keeping it nice and cool down here. It works really well. It's uh, in that room right there. Here's the 5000 BTU higher window air conditioner. It's on uh, low fan speed right now. Blowing nice cold air. And uh, yeah, it's this has R410A refrigerant. The one downstairs, the Samsung unit has R22. Um, and this, you know, since it's a pretty small unit, it's work, it has to work a lot harder. It doesn't blow quite as cold, but it's still nice, nice cool air. So it's working great. This is its third year. And uh, yeah, nothing's really wrong with it. I cleaned out in the spring, so it would work nicely this summer. And here is the top of it, there, just so you can see it. Alright, so I just wanted to do a little temperature test. This is an infrared thermometer. Ambient room temperature right now is in the 70s. Let's see, we're putting out. It's not bad. Getting down to 37 or 36 there. Yeah, so this thing is cooling pretty well. Getting down into the 30s. I'm gonna do a temperature test on the Samsung unit as well. As you can see, it's putting out very cold air. It's below freezing point. It's down to 20, almost 26 right there, 25. 23.6 degrees Fahrenheit. 22.7, that is working really well. This thing is ice cold. And here's the new dehumidifier. It's brought the level down a little bit. Uh, Jumping between 76 and 77 percent humidity. It was over 80 down here uh, when I first started this thing up because I haven't been running this thing at all. And uh, it's just set on continuous, and I have the hose hooked up to it. So yeah, we'll see how long this thing lasts. I I highly doubt it'll last as long as this old Whirlpool one, which has a very large compressor in it. This thing has an extremely small compressor in it, at least I'm guessing. It only draws 3.3 amps. That one was, I think, over 8 amps. And of course, this thing should be more efficient because it's newer, but I'm guessing it's a pretty small compressor. It's very quiet, too. And I know you've seen this a million times, but I'm going to start up the Sharp Comfort Touch Air Conditioner because it's hot up here. And the fan motor isn't running quite as fast as it should be because the voltage is pretty low on this circuit right now. Unfortunately, this share is the same circuit as the uh, Samsung air conditioner downstairs. Yeah, we'll do a temperature test of this one uh, once it's been running for a while. There is definitely a voltage problem on this circuit when both of those air conditioners are running. As you can see, it's only 104 volts. It should be about 120. And uh, it's not on battery. It's still online, but the automatic voltage regulation has kicked in on this UPS. Um, this has an auto transformer in it, and it is 
boosting the voltage right now. Because that's the incoming voltage. Let's see what it's putting out. It's putting out 118, so it's uh, compensating pretty well. Alright, it's been running for a while. Um, the ambient temperature in this room is about 80 degrees. Pretty warm. So let's see what kind of temperature we're putting out here. It's going down. So like so far we're down to 43 which isn't bad, considering this thing has not been running nearly as long as the one downstairs. It's only been running for about 15 minutes, and it is quite warm up here. I have seen this one get much lower. I've seen this get down into the low 30s and upper 20s, so it works pretty well still.